Will Representative-elect Estes and members of the Kansas delegation present themselves in the well? All members will rise, and the Representative-elect will raise his right hand. Do you solemnly swear that you will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that you will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that you take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, and that you will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office on which you are about to enter, so help you God. I do. Congratulations, you are now a member of the 115th Congress. Without objection, the gentlelady from Kansas, Ms. Jenkins, is recognized for one minute. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise this evening to congratulate my good friend and our new House colleague, Ron Estes. I've known Ron and his wife, Susan, for many years. I can tell you he is truly one of the nicest guys you will ever want to know. Ron and I share a common bond, having served as state treasurers in Kansas, and I've watched him serve in that role well. With a nation $20 trillion in debt, it's always nice to add a fellow conservative to Congress to help fix the debt and get our economy on the right fiscal track, which I know Ron is committed to doing. He's dedicated his entire life to bold innovations and efficiency reform and problem solving in both the public and the private sector. Kansans in the 4th District can be proud of their new congressman, and I look forward to working with Congressman Ron Estes on behalf of Kansans. And that, with that, I would like to yield to our newest colleague, Congressman Ron Estes. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Member Jenkins and the entire Kansas delegation. And thank you for all the members uh, for serving. Also want to thank my wife, Susan Estes, who's up in the gallery tonight. And my mother, Lou Estes, is also up there. My son, Brent Estes, and my daughters, Laura Estes and Grace Estes. As you all know, you can't run an election, you can't serve without support of family and friends. And, and so I appreciate the effort that they put in uh, for, on behalf of me. I look forward to serving with you. Uh, this is an honor to be a, a public servant and to work with you in the, in the chamber. I want to mention that uh, you know my background, both in private service, uh, private sector, before I uh, was elected county treasurer and then state treasurer, was to focus on how do we make things more efficient, how do we get things done. And that's the message that kind of came through in election, was that the voters in my district, like the voters in your district, want to see us accomplish things and want to get them done. And I appreciate the time, I appreciate the opportunity, and I look forward to serving with you to accomplish things for our country. Yeah.